We speak about action a lot on this channel. But what do we actually mean when we say actionable reporting? Well, the easiest way to explain it is, I think, through this. Imagine you have some data and then from this data you get some information and with this information you're able to create an action. So actionable reporting means that you have reports made based on your data that allow you to take action to improve your business. But in today's world, actionable reporting is a lot of times pushed to the side in favor of looks. Let me show you an example. I mean, this report looks pretty good. It's got a lot of color, it has a lot of KPIs, but does it actually have any insights? Well, we usually judge dashboards like this with a four question insight test. This shows us how actionable a report really is. So question one is simple. Are we doing good or bad? Try to answer this with me now that we're looking at this report. So on top of the report, we see quite a lot of KPIs, but I, I don't think it's, uh, to me, it's very hard to answer. So are these numbers actually good or are they bad? And looking at the whole report, I don't really see a trend anywhere or maybe a comparison with previous year, maybe, maybe even plan, you know, just something to give me that feeling of, uh, is it better or is it worse? Um, so, I mean, it has a lot of KPIs, but in the end, I have to call this report not actionable. So mainly this is because we don't really know, are we doing good or bad? Why is this happening? And what should we really do about it? We can't answer these questions based on this report, but this shouldn't be the case. We should never stop at the first question, never. But think about it, really think about it. This happens a lot. Think about your LinkedIn feed. Think about everybody making their own first dashboard. Think about all the colors, all the cool graphics that they use. But in the end, I'm always stuck at the first question. Just tell me, am I doing good or am I doing bad? So this is why we're creating this series. This is part one, but we're gonna continue. And throughout this series, you're gonna learn the theory, tips and tricks on how to make your reports even more actionable. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take reports like this, and then we're gonna use best practices, Zebra BI and IBCS joined together to bring you the knowledge of actionable reporting. If you think this is cool and you're excited, be sure to like the video, it helps a lot. So let's look at this report. And from the start, it's doing some things good. So first of all, it keeps the most important KPIs on its top left corner. This is usually where we want to keep our most important KPIs or showcase them because this is where our eyes usually start when looking at a report. It also tries to use some comparison and this is double good. So we're off to a good start, but things don't continue as well from now on. So first of all, the pie charts and the speedometers take too much space and they're really hard to actually gain any insight from them. It's cool that we're doing comparison here, but I think something like cars like we saw in the previous report would actually be better. And also just include the comparison for all of the main KPIs. It makes no sense just showing them off here. Include the comparisons. Now to the biggest attention grabber, which are actually not the main KPIs. It's the table. So my biggest problem here is that the colors are too strong. It's really hard to tell the difference between them and it's just too much. It's really hard to explain. And then to the right, we have a chart showing us the trend. This is also really cool and it's trying to do comparison, but the colors are the same as they are in the pie chart. So this is very confusing and also the comparisons are really hard to do just having different colors here and it's really hard to gauge the trend just trying to you know connect the dots from one color to the other. So let's put it through the four question test and just see how insightful it is. So first of all, are we doing good or bad? So we can see that with revenues we're not reaching our plan yet. So the second question is how good or how bad? And I can see that revenues are definitely not hitting plan, 
but uh, it's really hard to tell exactly how far we've come. We can also see that the gross profit is positive, but is it higher or lower than previous year or plan? We actually don't know. Continuing from this is, uh, why are we doing good or bad? So it's really hard to answer, but the table actually helps us here a little bit. So we can see that some of our products are definitely not selling as well as we planned. So maybe we should look into that if we're trying to make a decision. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, try to sell more of the products that are not selling enough since our revenue seem to not be hitting plan. All in all, I think this dashboard would deserve like a 4.5 out of 10 on the actionable scale. Now let me show you how we can do it more actionable. So first we're gonna change the top left KPIs with cards like we said and include the variances as well. Also with Zebra BI, as you're gonna see, the built-in variances and the color scheme actually gives us a lot more insights. So that's what we're gonna do with the table. Get rid of the colors and change it for a Zebra BI table. Now that we also can visualize our data like we do here, it's really easy to see exactly where we are underperforming and where we're doing like we planned. And now for our trend chart. Getting rid of all the colors and simply visualizing it in a simple but understandable manner, it's pretty easy to gain an insight of exactly what the trend is like. And with automatic variance calculation, just like we had at the table, it's pretty easy to understand exactly in which months were we doing better or in which months we were doing worse. So tell me in the comments what you would rate this new dashboard. Does it deserve a 10 out of 10? and submit your own dashboards that you want us to rate and maybe try to improve and make more actionable. Now I have a challenge for you. Can you make a 10 out of 10 actionable report? Show me that you're an actionable reporting data wizard and send in your work to be reviewed. Now go and watch more of our content or your reports will not update tomorrow.